What's going on, my boys? YT Dan, back at it again with another Master Duel video, my boy. So we've been getting in there for two weeks. I've been playing pretty much a rogue deck, and you guys got to really understand something, okay? So I'm a rogue deck player. I play rogue decks. I've said that many, many times. I choose not to play the top tier meta, not because I can't, it's just because I don't want to. And I'll give you a little bit of like color around that as to like why that is a thing. So, I mean, if you really think about it, as you live your life every single day, you conform, you know, you do things that you don't want to do because you have to do it because of pressures of society, your family or anything. You know, you go to work every day because you got to. You go to school every day because you must. Some of you went to college. Some of you took other programs. Some of you took religious, religious missions and others because you felt that you had to. But when you sit down with your free time, and it's supposed to be your time, the one-on-one -on -one time for you to feel good, I feel like that time spent I should not spend conforming to anything. I feel like I should do exactly what I want to do in that time. And I choose to play Yu-Gi-Oh in that time. So when I choose to play Yu-Gi-Oh, there is a list to conform to. It's called a tier list. This list is created by the players, not the creators of the game, the players. And these players have come together and established that based on the format, the lists on this are the most powerful decks. But another way to say that, these are the easiest win decks. These decks, win condition, are the easiest to execute in our format. And if you want to win, you should play this deck too. But I'm not, in, I'm not interested in empty wins. I'm not interested in hollow victories. And I am not interested in just completing a task, conforming yet again. I'm here to duel, and I'm here to duel for true freedom. When I duel with my own deck, when I duel out of side of the format, when I duel off the tier list, I am exercising my freedom and my free will. And I refuse to conform to any meta deck. But I'm gonna always play what I wanna play when I wanna play it at all times, my boy. And I'm gonna keep finding out and discovering new techniques and new secrets within the game. There's over 10,000 cards in the Yu-Gi-Oh game. And unlike other trading card games, cards do not get cycled out. So there's many cards for you to use to build your deck. And if your deck has been hit by a ban list, if your deck has been depowered, if your deck has been declawed, I encourage you and I implore you to dig deeper in those 10,000 plus cards and find a way for your deck to make it to the top. And that's how you're never gonna miss, my boy. That's how you're gonna really turn a win into a victory. But before we talk more about that, my boy, hit the subscribe button if you wanna be around a true duelist, my boy. Now, I've talked about this deck week over week. It's been two weeks and I got it to a point where I feel like it's good to go against pretty much any opponent. Certain cards I had to let go of, certain cards I added more of. But before we get into everything, I'm gonna talk about the instant win buttons in this deck, okay? So this deck has a lot of instant win buttons. Number one, Barrier Statue of the Storm will lock out your opponent from making any plays, obviously. Only um, win monsters can be special summoned while this is face up on the field. And when I summon this card, I'm putting it on the field under Gladiator Beast Domitianus and Gladiator Beast Heraklonos. So under Heraklonos and Domitianus, I can negate spells and traps, also monster effects and control the battle. So there's no way they're gonna be able to destroy this monster short of having a God Hand or a Kaiju immediately in that turn on the turn I set this up, which is normally turn two or three. If you have an answer at turn two or three, you're lucky, but everybody's not lucky. So this deck highly, highly, highly presses upon skill and executing in the main phase two. So number two, instant win buttons. Evenly matched plus any gladiator beast. And I'm using gladiator beast noxious as a prime example. 
So people don't understand this, and they and they play evenly matched wrong. They're terrible actually at it. Evenly matched is an amazing card that can not only be played like in my turn from the hand in battle phase, it can be played in your turn from the hand in battle phase. Now, a lot of people might say, what the hell are you talking about? How can you play a trap from your hand in my battle phase? It says it right here. If you control no monsters, you can activate this card from the hand. Simple as that. It doesn't require to be set for a turn. It doesn't require anything. If you have no monsters, you can play this card from the hand. Now, how would I have no monsters in the battle phase? Well, when a gladiator beast monster is the sole monster on the field and attacks and activates the effect to tag in another gladiator beast as chain link two evenly match activates. And basically what happens here is the gladiator beast monster is in the deck and then evenly match is the only card on the field. So now your opponent has the evenly match down to one card. So you attacked, which is key to our strategy. You evenly match down to one card. So what happens is a lot of times is I attack, I tag out, evenly match down to one card, and then I summon Gladiator Beast Domitianos, Gladiator Beast Horaklenos, and then Barrier Statue of the Storm, and you're out of here. Or Apex Avian, and you're out of here. So that's it, my boy. That's, that's pretty much like the roundabout. Now, what else? Um, I also added in three Ash Blossom. And you might say, well, what did you put in there? Take out for Ash. I took out Dark Ruler No More. Here's the reason. Um, even though Dark Ruler No More is great at shutting down an entire board, Ash Blossom is better in more situations. And I had to understand that by actually playing and holding Dark Ruler No More in my hand and dying in a situation where I could have just used Ash. So that's how Ash Blossom became like a staple to this deck. Um, and if you look at our staples, you know, we're pretty much running Ash Blossom and uh, Lightning Storm pretty much. And a lot of people ask me, Dan, what can I play in place of Lightning Storm? Nothing. Here's the reality, my boy. You're gonna have to take your ass right over here. You're gonna have to crush this button right here. It's called UR right and you're gonna have to go right up here and you're gonna have to dismantle the selected cards and dismantle everything and anything that is not a lightning storm so you can have a play set because here's the reason why okay lightning storm in real life is a hundred and twenty dollars a hundred and twenty dollars you can craft this shit for the price of three ultra rare in real life would you trade three ultra rares for a lightning storm, hell yeah. I trade any three lightning any three URs for a lightning storm. Hell yeah. Cause lightning storms is amazing, has a lot of utility. Do not hoard digital cards. Get rid of the shit you don't need. Get rid of the shit you're not playing. And get in there. But you get your lightning storms. Don't skimp on lightning storm. You need lightning storm. Um secondly, uh I did I did add these back in, um, called by the grave, and I removed all cards that search the deck for monsters. Uh, I found out that pretty much running those cards is just jamming me up because at the end of the day, when the algorithm shuffles this deck, it's gonna be like spell, trap, monster, and it's gonna just shoot whatever. If it's gonna do that, then your spells and traps need to be spells and traps you can use right now. You can't have spells and traps that are useless. If I draw all spell hand, that's kind of dangerous to my opponent. My all spell hand is consistent of an evenly matched and maybe a lightning storm and a pot and a twister and a call up by the grave. All I gotta do is pull rescue cat, any tri brigade, and I can do Domitianus, Herc, and uh, statue. I can do I can do Domitianus, Herc, statue of any one card. And that's another thing. If you're playing. Um, any type of deck, it's a rogue deck, off meta deck, not tier deck, what is your one card combo? If you don't have a one card combo, you're not competitive. And that's the difference between um, playing a tier deck versus playing a uh, rogue deck 
is are you competitive competitive mean one card combo it can mean a lot of different things in a lot of different formats and a lot of different games but in Yu-Gi-Oh, competitive means one card combo if you don't have a one card combo or at minimum a two card combo then you are not competitive so what are the one card combos in this any tri brigade monster any tri brigade monster or rescue cat one card combo any tri brigade or rescue cat or any gladiator beast attacking with evenly matched that's a two card combo so basically either i'm attacking with gladiator beast playing evenly matched or i'm playing my one card combo nine times out of ten it's always the one card combo every now and again i get the evenly matched playoff i am playing one pot of prosperity it's an excellent card but it is kind of hard to play three to six cards you got to banish our extra deck isn't all that tight but I could imagine it getting tighter in the future as better cards come out and it can improve. But right now I'm banishing these six cards. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Those are the six cards I'm banishing. Pot of Prosperity is amazing because basically you can have any of these monsters in the hand. It doesn't matter. What really matters is what spells you have in your hand, what traps you have in your hand to combine with these monsters. Pot of Prosperity allows you to look into the deck six cards and find something. So this is a really good card. I might even consider playing it at two because um, I don't see it a lot, but um, this is a really good card. So let's get into them replays, my boy, and check out this Platinum One Run. And I'm gonna just show you guys like the power of this deck, the power of the Gladiator Beast. And then from here on out in February, we're moving on to a new deck and I don't know what we're gonna play. I actually have been wanting to try out virtual world but i think my next top is gonna be ddd but i'm you know looking in the ddd right now my boy so let's check out these replays all right my boy so this first match is going to be um that evenly matched play that i was telling you about um it's really important that you see this play and understand it and it's what's hilarious is i would do this play and just never hit record <laughs> because I never was able to hit it on a sizable enough board, but um, for the first time I hit it on a nice looking board and you can clearly see the advantage here. Um, I've e I evenly match for one card if it's a part of the combo, but what you wanna see is a good evenly match. And I thought this was a great duel to express the power of this deck and how we can play around things without um, using Dark Ruler no more. Uh, this was right when I still had Foolish in there, but you know, it is what it is. Foolish is, is really good in uh, with Tri Brigade because obviously you can do all this and that's very important. So now what's crazy about this is obviously Foolish was great to set up my grave for later, but what I'm doing here is obviously he has no way of protecting his monster. A lot of people don't run battle traps. Don't be fooled. People do run battle traps. Gazars has blown up back row. I've seen drowning mirror force. I've seen regular mirror force. I've seen the mirror force that returns the cards to the hand. They play them. You just don't see them often, but we're gonna summon Sam Knight and we're gonna attack. Now we are attacking in the bear statue because we have to. Based on how he set up the board, he's expecting us to end our turn right here, but he doesn't know this is where our power comes in because the fool let the gladiator beast attack. And if a gladiator beast attacks, it's all over. So we're gonna go ahead and activate our effect, go back into the deck, chain link two, evenly matched from the hand. No monsters on the, look at my field. No cards on the field, no monsters on the field. Evenly matched from the hand while my gladiator beast is in the deck. Now I want you to go ahead and drop all your shit. I want you to just go ahead and pick up all your shit and I want you to banish it all face down for me, except one card, whichever one you like. Go ahead, go ahead, duelist choice, go ahead. So we're gonna go ahead and banish that shit face down, get it all banished, and now we're gonna get this cheeks to clapping. So now we're gonna summon out a Torix. Remember, we're only playing one a comeback, and then we're gonna dump Augustus. Activate main phase two. Remember, that our combo is in main phase two. He could have did anything to stop us if he had it, in main phase one. If he didn't stop us in main phase one, it's likely. If he didn't draw, he doesn't have any counters, and he didn't. So come back, 
go into Augustus, I mean, sorry, not Augustus, Tamer Editor, summon out Domitianus, discard special summon. Now, you need to realize this. In order to make the ultimate board in Gladiator Beast, you need three monsters. You need your Tamer Editor, Domitianus, and any third monster. If you have these three cards, you can create the board state that I'm about to create right now. If you can get to one, two, three, that's why I set them up like this for you. Any one monster, Tamer Editor, Domitianus. Remember, if you can get to this, you can complete the full combo. So let's go. So we're just gonna keep going, link this off. Now because, now what was unique about this play, we never used the tri Brigade's effect because we went into battle and attacked with Samnite. So I took advantage of that and used tri Brigade monsters to summon out the ferret. Now someone did, now I, someone made a comment, was like, if you're playing tri Brigade, you deserve to get FTK by Catapult Turtle. I'm gonna point this out to you, my boy. I don't play tri Brigade. I use tri Brigade. I utilize tri Brigade. My tri Brigade monsters summon Gladiator Beast and Fixins to create Gladiator Beasts and Test Panthers. We don't rely on the Omen. We aren't waiting to be saved by a revolt. Our gladiators are creating revolution right now for their Lanista, for the house of the Nevamis. You gotta understand that, my boy. We're getting in there, gladiator style. Now here we go, Test Panther is gonna add from our deck to the hand a card. And oh, this is when I was playing two combat, yeah. So we're gonna use this, bring this card back, Oh, I'm still playing Dark Ruler No More. This is, must be really early. So even without Dark Ruler More, this is why Dark Ruler No More was taken out of the deck, actually. And this is why we probably went down to the one because you can always just get the cards back. They can always be brought back. And if they haven't stopped you, there's nothing they can do. So here we go, end phase, we're gonna summon. And then he's gonna try to end phase summon, but we got Domitianus, so negate and destroy which is why I didn't bother trying to like kill this thing. Like why bother killing it when Domitianus is gonna do his job. So we blew this up and you saw the power of the evenly matched attack. I got rid of, what did, I, what did he lose from that? Um, he lost his back row. Oh, I can't even see what it is cause it's face down. But he ended up losing his back row and his face down monster. That was likely a tri brigade monster and, and maybe a revolt or something, who knows? And now, I mean, he has to contend with all this. He can't win. There's nothing he can do at this point. So he can go ahead and dump and fill his graveyard up with as many monsters as possible. I could care less. Then he's gonna go ahead and use Max C and then I'm gonna say, no, fuck you. Fuck your Max C. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even care if you were playing it for jokes. No, negate it. Everything else is fine. Negate your Max C. Um, now it's time. We're gonna go ahead and summon one more beast with the Sovereignty Bird. And now if we have created this field, it's time to end the duel, my boy. Now we go right into battle and we finish him. This is how you honor and respect your opponent. When your opponent decides to say, hey, I'm not gonna scoop, you got me. You just go into battle. Don't do anything else. Go into battle and kill him. That's just what you gotta do. But that was the whole point. Evenly matched, my boy. Disgusting cards, let's get it. Yeah, so a lot of people don't read cards and it's really easy to uh, get over with Domitianus. Domitianus wins a lot of games on his own because people just don't bother reading. And since they don't read, you know, I proceed to get the dub. So that's, I mean, pretty much, that's all it is to it, my boy. It is what it is. Every single day, they do the same thing. So let's get in there, my boy. So this is a, actually a deck that I've seen at my locals. Um, this is a rocket deck, I believe, that has a bunch of like crazy, like synchros and all kinds of like combos, it's just ridiculous. Um, but this is one of those uh, hands again, Ash, Dark Ruler No More. Um, but I think this is one of those duels where Dark Ruler No More actually came in more handy uh, than, you know, it has in the past. But, uh, or is it? I don't know. Uh, we'll see in a minute. Maybe so, because I'm seeing this and I don't really remember what he did, but I, I remember seeing this and thinking, oh shit. <laughs> I remember I remember having that thought like uh oh <laughs>
<laughs> what this? <laughs> I remember I remember thinking that <laughs> when I saw that. Um, so here he's going, more rockets. And I'm glad I'm getting a chance to play against this because like I mentioned, a lot of people play this at or, uh, my local ground. I saw people playing at my local. And I want to be prepared to play against this. Now this card is hard to beat. The hot red arch team. It's got a bunch of negation. It's really tough to like really uh, knock out. But um, basically, he just co-linked. Oh, no, he didn't co-link it. He, he didn't put it over there. He put this guy in the co-link. All right, so never mind. So this is a pretty disgusting board. And I, is this an evenly matched? Or is this a dark ruler no more? Because basically, I got the options to do both. So I don't know what I did. What did, what did you do, Mr. Dan? Let's see. Dark ruler no more. Summon Darius, <gasps> impossible. I'm a YT madman. No, don't do it. Don't do it to him. Oh, I forgot about this one. I forgot about this one. That was disgusting. Oh my God. That was disgusting. That was disgusting. I forgot all about that. God damn. Woo, let's go. Show him them glad beasts. Mm, damn, damn editor. Ooh, damn, do it to him. Domitianus. Ooh, damn, do it to him. Test Panther. Ooh, damn, do it to him. Come back. Ooh, give it to him. Ooh, let's give him the comeback. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Here you go. Tamer editor. Activation. Blow you up, boy. Uh. <laughs> what? You know what's coming next. Sovereignty. Yes. And the floodgate? The Omnina Gate. Okay, well. Oh yeah. That was it right there, my boy. I forgot that that was uh what we were gonna do. I forgot about that evenly matched. Damn. Okay. Right. And then now we're gonna lightning storm and clear this board up, and then we're gonna attack. This is the power of Gladiator Beast. I don't know why I gotta be Sam Knight showing out, but it's, this is the power of Gladiator Beast. Complete board wipe. One card left. What can I possibly do with just one Gladiator Beast? One card. Your deck needs to have a one card combo. Let's show you the one card combo. Sam Knight into the deck. Use Darius effect to bring back Augustus. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, Link them off for the Panther. Panther's gonna come to the field and then it's gonna search our deck for the comeback. We're gonna play the comeback and then we're gonna bring back any gladiator beast. We're gonna use Panther's effect to send him back to bring out Equestus. Equestus is gonna add the comeback back. Then we're gonna play um, another Link 3, which is for the Bird of Sovereignty. Sovereignty Bird. And then we're gonna go ahead and activate from our hand the comeback. Oh, we're not gonna play the comeback. Oh, because this is a wing beast. And um, yeah, we can't play comeback because all of our cards are wing beasts. Yeah, all of our gladiator beasts are wing beasts. And this is a wing beast. So we can't play comeback. But um, I went ahead and dropped sovereignty on him because when I checked his grave, I don't think he can do anything else in here. And then honestly, um, I didn't want to summon the statue because I don't know what Drytron really plays. And, if he top decks something, then normal summons it and then searches his deck and then da 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 da, then runs it over, then main phase to me, then I'll lose. But if I get the Omni negate, I can just negate whatever he draws. So, you know, that was the point. <laughs> and he scoops it up. So, so one card combo, one one attack, one gladiator beast equals an Omni negate. All right, and I think this uh, next one actually is against the uh, Golden Lord. So this actually should be pretty interesting too. Uh, this is one more duel against the Golden Lord. And as you can tell, I'm ready for the Golden Lord. I think we're going second and I actually have the Twin Twister. Um, so this man's playing Lava Golem, Ice Dragon's Prison, clearly Golden Lord. I've seen a lot of these decks. They play three Solemn, they play three Lava Golem, they play three skill drain. They play three rivalry or warlords. They, pl they play everything. So that's why I really leaned on playing back row removal. So, you know, daddy's very excited. You know, got to speak in third person and call myself daddy when I got twin twister and he's got two face down ready to get twisted up. So.
So I go ahead and draw for turn, main phase, activate my effect. He's going to go ahead and Ice Dragon Prison that, which is absolutely fine for me. Now he's told me where the Ice Dragon Prison is, and I can go ahead and give him that twin twist that he's been looking for. You know what I'm saying, my boy? Because the Ice Dragon Prison was okay, but it ain't the best. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and twin twist that shit up. Get it off my board, please. Thank you very much. You go ahead and put the Golden Lord in there. We're going to go ahead now. What's hilarious? Okay, now look. Ice Dragon Prison Super Booty. No, there's okay. This card says target. Like, I get why this card is hype, but against Gladiator Beast, it's not really all that great, but it's very situational. So it says target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon it to the field, but its effects are negated. Then you can banish one monster from both players' field that have the same type as each other. Okay, that's cool, but that's pretty situational. That means I gotta have a card in the grave that's gonna match a card on the field and you're gonna bring that monster back, summon it to the field so you can banish both. Just play a karma cut. Why are you being cute? But anyway, I, I whatever. Neither here nor there, that's not my argument. Like, I mean, not my argument. That is my argument for that card. And as you can see, it didn't matter because this is a, a beast warrior. Here's my wing beast. Here's my wing beast. Attack my wing beast. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, I commenced the combo. This is full combo right here. As I told you before, three monsters is all you need for full combo. Typically one um, Tri-Brigade monster and two Gladiator Beasts. These two Gladiator Beasts are gonna turn to who? Tamer Editor and Domitianus. So now I have the three cards. Tamer Editor, Domitianus, and a random monster. We're gonna link off for who? The Panther. The Panther's gonna do what? Search the deck for the comeback? Okay, we're gonna play the comeback from hand. All right, special summon a Tamer Editor. Wow, gonna use Tamer Editor's effect for the Herc. Damn, gonna spin him off for Equestus. Add the comeback. Damn, gonna go ahead and link that shit on up for the Bird of Sovereignty. Damn. And then um, what, what's, what's your choice? Um, do you want the Floodgate or do you want the Omni Gate? I guess we're going with Floodgate, my boy. So now we have, we're gonna go ahead and pause this. I'm gonna point this out to you. Now, in our hand, we have four cards, but we have five negates for spells and traps. We can also negate any monster effect, and we can also um, control the battle. So in order for this person to get out of this, they're gonna have to clear Herc and Domitianus and attack this monster. And they gotta do all that in main phase one in their battle phase, they can't do it. They cannot do it. Unless they have a god hand on turn three, which is possible, but it is highly unlikely. <laughs> and that's just the reality, my boy. So let's keep going. The Golden Lord, um, stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> He's like, wait, the Golden Lord can be negated? Of course he can. Shut your dumb ass up. All right, I'm gonna set dog. And then um, add him to your hand. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, what else are you gonna do with that? You're gonna pass turn. You can't special summon, dum-dum. Omni negate. So it's over. Omni negation, floodgation, Domitianus, Herc. It's GG time. It's time. Let's just get you out of here. We're gonna give you some of the statue. See, he, see, he got disgusted because I took the statue in attack position. I put the statue in attack position because, you know. All right, my boy, here's some more Maxi gameplay. Uh, yeah, because everybody loves Maxi, right? So my experience now that I've been, you know, got a full grasp of the game, either either you're going to play through Maxi because you know you can, or you're going to stop playing flat out. Either you got to play through it or stop playing. You can't really get around it. So, of course, as I mentioned to you before, it's really important to make sure that you, uh, you know, are running all these blow up spells. Excellent, we end up getting super poly and, and permanence. That's a really good uh, blow up. Uh, Max C, bro. No, caught by the grave. Four. <laughs> Get your dumb ass out of here. Fuck, I can't play Max C, I'm dead, dog. All right. <laughs>
Yeah, my boy. So as you can see at this point, you know, these duels are going to be very, there's always going to be some shenanigans. But at the end of the day, our bread and butter combo is what holds true. Like the bread and butter combo is like the reason why we still get in there. And this is this is a, uh, another replay where I think there's no Ash, but there is Rula. So, you know, again, same, same different. Anytime you see Dark Ruler, it's uh, Ash Blossom. So go ahead and... Uh, called by the grave that uh, Maxi like oh oh did you breathe Maxi mm -hmm. called by the grave fuck so go ahead and summon out the all mirage gonna get our dump going uh, called by the grave bruh okay don't I look stupid so <laughs> so I got an intern he bricked, I guess. <laughs> this is why you run. This is why people run way too many counters. Like he just, ooh. <laughs> so I don't know what happened to him over there, my boy. But I'm about to go full combo on him. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see what we can find. We went and took Tinky. See, this is why I end up taking out that stuff because it's like, yeah, I, I, I part of prosperity to grab Tinky, to grab Ferret, da 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 da. Like you know. It could have been better. <laughs> like, it really could have been better. So that's why I end up taking those kind of cards out. And as you can see, I'm doing just fine. And Dark Ruler No More is in my hand. So here's another thing. When I'm attacking with um, Gladiator Beast, I think the name is pronounced uh, Dragasis. Like, like Dragasis or Dre or Dre Gasis or something like that. I, I don't really know. I'll have to look it up. But basically, if I can add a Gladiator Beast to the attack, that's great. Because number one, I'm going to get my guaranteed tag out. Number two, I get to put valuable cards like a quest is back in the deck. And number three, I've already fulfilled my requirement. To, to do my combo, I need three monsters on board. After this attack is through, I'll have four monsters on board. So I have one extra monster and I'll keep going. So, you know. I try to make sure I don't normal summon. I try to hold back my normal summon as much as possible because your opponent really doesn't know what you're going to do until you normal summon. And if you haven't normal summon, that means that you've got more combo potential. So we're going to go ahead and summon from the hand. Now we've got all five on the board and we're going to dump from the uh, deck. Swap it out for the Sam Knight. Let's combo. All right. So we're going to go ahead and bring out Domitianus. And then we're going to link these off. What are we bringing out? The Panther. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to use that Panther to go ahead and grab that comeback. Mm. And then we're going to go ahead and link these bad boys. And then we're going to bring out Draco Nass. Then we're going to have activate the comeback. Bring back our big boy. Got to go ahead and flip it on back to the deck. Equestus at the comeback. Oh, thank you very much, Equestus. Then we're going to go ahead and use this beast to summon hurt. Link them off. Y'all already know what's about to happen, my boy. The Bird of Sovereignty. All right, Sovereignty Bird activates the effect. And there's our Apex Avian. So now we have Apex Avian sitting under Sovereignty. I really don't like setting them up like this because they could be impermed and you can imperm this whole role. But that has never happened ever. But I'm just saying, I don't like doing it like that just because of that. So he can do a bunch of summoning because he's playing Mech Knights, I guess. I guess he's playing. I mean, is this Mech Knight invoked or something? Like, I don't know. But he, he summons all his Mech Knights and he's going to try to battle. But you know, don't meet the Amos. Take your 500 and lose and scoop. Thank you. All right, my boy. So that's it. That's Gladiator Beast. Try, my boy. We were able to hit Platinum 1 with that. Do not ever forget the secret technique of evenly matched in Gladiator Beast. I know that a lot of people might not understand how busted that is, but you need to show it to him, my boy. Don't forget to add me, my boy. Um, we're getting in there all the time, and I appreciate y'all for watching this video. And as always, keep it dank.